somewhere different today. So, um, this video is going to be a little different. I kind of wanted to film, um, kind of like a talking with you video. Um, I am a little upset right now. I'm actually currently sitting in my shower. Well, I'm currently sitting in my tub, um, in my bathroom and I'm like half my ledge. Uh, this is like a really horrible setup. It's going to be kind of hard, but I really wanted some natural lighting. It's just like kind of like a laid back video. Um, I did not spots, but I did just get these, um, pixie palettes. They just sent it to me last night. Um, and I want to show you guys cause they're so beautiful. Um, and I'm kind of excited to play with it and it's kind of inspired. Um, I don't really wear too much makeup anymore like I used to, but you guys look how gorgeous these are. Like these shades are just screaming fall. Um, and this mirror is like, wow, this mirror is so beautiful. <laughs> wow. Um, so that's that palette. This is the Pixie Eye Effects Hazelnut Haze. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh, like those colors are just so stunning. Um, that orange shade is really pretty. Um, and then the next one is Pixie um, Honey Nectar. Oh wait. Wait, this is the next eye one. Yeah, this is another eye palette. This is in Rosette Ray. This one was gorgeous too. A lot of these like plum colors. Super pretty. So these are the two eyeshadow palettes. Like these are gorgeous. Um, and then yeah, these mirrors are really beautiful. Uh, and these are a good size. Like there's um, for nine pants. It's like about the size of my hand. Um, these are really nice. They're really small. And then these are Nuisance Quartet. I don't know. Oh, these are pretty. Yeah, these are pretty too. Um, so these are, I'm assuming, bronzer, highlighter. I'm assuming this is like a bronzer, a highlighter, and then these are two. I'm assuming this is a blush and this is like a blush topper, it looks like, because this is a little bit more um, pigmented and like has like more of a shimmer to it. And then this one, same thing. Actually, maybe those aren't bronzers. Maybe that's just like... I don't know, that's like definitely like a bronzer. Um, and then this one's a little bit more cool toned. Oh yeah, no, those are like bronzers. Um, so again, like a bronzer, a highlighter, um, a blush topper, and then like a blush. Um, so yeah. I'm excited. I really want to play with these. Um, so that's the reason we're doing makeup today. Um, I'm really, I have nowhere to go. It's, my kids are napping, so. And this is, um, the Folger Company, uh, Mocha Ice Coffee. And this is so good, you guys. Um, this is super good. But yeah, um, I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about, like, kind of, like, what's going on. Um, so, I have good news and some bad news. I'm just kind of talking. Um, I wish this like, wish I had a plug right here because I'm using my mirror and this like has like a light up, but <sighs> there's no plugs over here because I'm in the tub. But yeah, um, to get started um, with some of the bad news that I just received today, um, I want to get it out of the way so I don't cry anymore. Um, Cameron was supposed to possibly come home early, which I mentioned in my military spouse Q&A, and that's not happening anymore. So, um, yeah, that's not happening anymore. Um, he was, he just found out today that, um, yeah, to not expect to come home when we were thinking he's going to come home, and... If he was to come home when we thought, he would have been home in like a few more weeks. Um, he would have come home really early, um, which I was low-key kind of hopeful for because I wanted him to be home before Thanksgiving. I mean, before, not Thanksgiving, <laughs> before 
Halloween and now he's not going to be home for Halloween at all um, and he probably may not be home for Thanksgiving either. Um, there's a chance, but that's just the military. Um, just the military. So we got really bad news today with that. Um, I'm going to use this palette. I really want to play with these oranges. Um, so that's kind of the bad news that's going on right now. Um, I, I was really hopeful that he would come home in October just because I mean, we miss him. We're over it. But that's not the case. Um, that's one thing with the military is nothing is set in stone. I mean, so who knows? He could come home like in a few weeks and whatever, but um, they don't see that happening. Um, so he's not coming home. What he? I mean, so his orders, anyways. I don't. I'm not gonna get into too much detail with it, but his whole orders, anyway is still on track we just thought maybe he could come home early because i mean they mentioned coming home early so i just put on a little bit of eyebrow powder before i start doing my eyeshadow just because i feel like sometimes when i go in afterwards i don't know where to start um so yeah i'm not gonna put any primer or any concealer on my eyes or anything like that just because i'm probably gonna wash it off in a few hours anyways right yeah because it's already 1 30. Um, so, that's my bad news, um, I'm, I'm like really bummed out about it, um, we really, we had a lot of plans, um, Karen's definitely over it, it's not a fun place to be right now, he's, he's ready to be home with his family, so, I feel for him, and as much as it sucks for me, it sucks worse for him, I mean, he's there, you know, um, so, that's our bad news. Uh, I'm gonna go on this 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 color right here is the one that's intriguing me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start popping it in there. Ooh, she's pretty. One thing about Pixie products, a lot of people are like don't like their shadows. Um, Pixie products do have a lot of fallout. I will admit that. Um, but that's why I do my eyes first when I use Pixie. Um, but also. A lot of pixie glitters and pixie shimmer colors it works better with your finger compared to um, a brush so that's just something to keep in mind um, I know a lot of people like hate on pixie uh, but I think it's more so wow, that's super pigmented uh, I think it's more so because they just don't know how to use their products so this is so, so, so I am obsessed with orange eyeshadow I think it's so pretty on brown eyes um wow okay pixie hopefully oh, i think this may be like this natural sunlight maybe just too much is that better that's probably better huh um yeah that better yeah probably so uh, i really like that color maybe i should turn on the light above me Is that better lighting? A little bit. Um, but yeah, so that's like my bad news that I just kind of got. And I kind of just like posted about it on Instagram. Just kind of like, well, that's like the worst news. Um, and like I said, it's just because I was kind of hopeful and kind of expecting October. But hearing, no way, Jose, um, kind of like really freaking sucked you know and like I know it's military we signed up for it but still it's like I want my husband home already like he's been gone for three three and a half months um and I want him home like I think it's normal for me to want him home and it's it's my I want my I want him home for my kids like I want I'm gonna go with this like green shade now um I want Asher to meet him. I don't know why I'm going with the brush. I just told you guys, works better with your fingers. Um, 
like I want Asher to interact with him and I want Landon to play with his daddy because Landon loves daddy and Landon definitely wants daddy home now and it's just like it's hard you know um deployments are hard and I feel like it's hard no matter what but I feel like it hits differently when you have kids um because it sucks like when your kids ask for daddy or your your kids ask for mommy and they're not around like it's it, it's sad to see it and it breaks my heart and I cry a lot because I miss him and I want him for my own self but my kids miss him and my kids want him and when I say kids I mean more Lynn and Asher doesn't really realize anything but like Asher gets really excited to see him on FaceTime and it's just I don't know I'm just I'm ready for him to be home um, and it's gonna suck because it's like, I'm, my mental health isn't just the greatest. Um, thankfully when Cameron left, like my postpartum depression was really, really bad. Um, and it, I feel like I got better as a whole. I mean, I'm, I'm nine months postpartum, but postpartum depression and regular depression, it lingers, you know, like it's just, you don't feel better overnight when you're completely alone it's hard because you feel like those days just never end and it's just it's hard to do things on your own and um yeah i mean i'm thankful i have really good friends here that try to you know reach out to me and tell me they're here but at the end of the day you don't know what i'm going through in my head and i may act like i'm okay and I may have like my really good days, but overall, like I'm just not okay, and I just, I just really want my husband home, and I really just want. Wow, I'm being really vulnerable, um, but yeah, I just really want my family as a whole, you know. Um, which goes to my next thing. Oh, I really like these shadows; it's really pretty. Um, which goes to my next thing. Um, our big news. I'm not gonna put on any liner or anything, but I'm just gonna take some of this like really dark color right here. And I'm just gonna kind of press it on my upper lash line. Um, so if you guys don't know, we only told like a handful of people, um, and it was mainly um, our family and then some friends. Um, but we are moving. Um, and that's our big news, like, hello, hey, hey. Um, <laughs> we are moving, and we finally got orders. Um, so, we're moving in a few months, actually. We are moving in, like, the end of April, early May-ish time frame. Um, and we're moving to... New Mexico and we're so excited and it's weird because I always say like I'll never move to New Mexico again because I actually lived there for a little bit when Cameron was in um, basic training and I hated it there but my mom is actually there so my mom and my stepdad do live in New Mexico and I think it'll be really nice to be in New Mexico for a few years just for like the kids and everything and just to kind of have that help, um, I never wanted to be moved to New Mexico for the simple fact that it's, I don't really like it. It's not the best place. But now that I have kids and everything, um, I feel like it'll be really fun to be in New Mexico for a few years um, and have, like I said, like some help with the kids, be able to go on date nights with my husband and, you know, have my mom and stepdad around. And it's my kids love my mom um so i feel like it'll just be really fun to like have my mom i just feel like it'll be really fun to have my mom around you know have holidays together we will most likely be in new mexico for at least like four years um just because it's that kind of base um so yeah we're moving to new mexico and I'm really excited because my mom. Um, so 
So yeah, I'm really, really excited to move to New Mexico. Um, just to be with my mom. Um, and my stepdad too, but you know, there's nothing like mama. Um, and yeah, just like for my boys to be around my, my mom all the time. But yeah, I'm really excited just to like be around my parents all the time and you know, have like a place to like hang out and you know, I'll be able to actually like just hang out with them on the weekends, like just have dinners and all that stuff. So we're excited. Uh, we are looking to purchase another house over there. So we are in the process of looking for houses. Um, it kind of sucks because we just finished our basement, but that's okay. It just adds value to our house. Thankfully, right now the market in Colorado is booming. Um, so we actually will make a pretty penny with selling our house. Um, just because when we bought our house, it was a new build. So, um it automatically just started gaining um, equity because they're building the same exact house um, on other filings inside our community. Um, so that's like a good thing. Okay, I had to run over there because my little Asher woke up and I had to come back to sleep and I'm hoping he stays asleep a little bit longer. But I don't remember what I was talking about. I'll get back on track. I'm trying to think. I'm just gonna sit under my eyes because I got heavily distracted by my little one. Um, but yeah, I can't wait. Oh my god. Just cracked open. Um, I can't wait to move. Oh, I think I was talking about buying a new house. Um, so we are selling this house and buying another house. We are looking at another new build out in New Mexico. There's a few houses we've seen so far. Found a few that we like so far, um, but it's hard because it's like, we're trying to only spend so much because obviously, right now we have a three bedroom house. Well, technically now it's four bedrooms, um, four bedrooms, Yeah, right now we have four bedroom, three and a half bath. Um, and that's only because we finished the basement. Um, so now we're looking at four to five bedrooms. Um, we want like a dedicated office, and but we really want like a loft or like a playroom. Um, so I'm trying to see if I want to go. I think I'm going to try this. Nope. I think I'm going to try this one. The honey nectar. I don't know about this bronzer though. Um, yeah, we're looking. So then, um, we are looking, and it's hard because it's like since we had this house. Um, so because this house is brand new and it was a new build, I feel almost spoiled because now. We were looking at pre-owned homes in New Mexico and we're like, mm -mm, mm -mm. and I think because this house was new, we like spoiled ourselves because there's certain things that we want in a house and like older houses just don't have it. Well, that is why we decided to go with another new build. Um, and we found two that we like. One of them is actually the same one my mom went through. Um, and then another new build is the one that I personally like more. Uh, I'm going to use this blush on like this. Um, Oh, pretty pixie is like you guys don't sleep on it like I know some people are like eh about pixie because you know they just don't know how to use the palette or it just doesn't work because maybe they're using the wrong brushes or whatever but guys this is so pretty um but what was I just saying I don't know there's one build that I like more um and it's just like a beautiful home um but we'll see um i was we were planning on we were planning on possibly going down to new mexico um like next month to get a lot and 
sign our contracts for our house because we wanted a new build um and the new build that we wanted was to do a dirt start so from the ground up and it takes like seven to eight months for their build time which is crazy because i work for a new build and our build time is like way less than that but um whatever everyone's different um but i'm gonna use this blush top for too Oh, it's so pretty, you guys. It's so pretty. Um, but we wanted to do that all next month. And now I'm probably going to have to go do it by myself, which is not what I wanted to do. Um, and it's also hard because the person I normally ask to dog sit and watch my house actually just got a dog. And normally I wouldn't mind. I would not mind if someone brought their dog. The issue is... <laughs> Jackson's an asshole and he does not like other dogs so it just wouldn't work out so now I have to find someone else because I kind of want to just go to New Mexico like now um just so I can like get out of my routine and like go be with my mom and stepdad for a little bit but that's not happening um so yeah um I'm gonna we're gonna I'm gonna try to find someone else to come house it and dogs it. I obviously want someone that's gonna take care of my dogs. So um we're looking um to find someone so I can go down there. But I may have to when I do go down there do all this house stuff by myself now because Cameron will be here. So I kinda wanna do use some of this green color and put up my lower lash line. Yeah, so we are looking at a new house. We're looking at like five to four bedrooms. Um, hopefully um, we can. I found one that is literally everything I want in a home. Um, what I'm nervous about is the price that it's gonna end up costing me. I'm really, I'm really, really excited to get the hell out of Colorado. You guys know um, I'm so over Colorado. It's just it's no fun um guys this i look looks so pretty let's see if you guys can i shouldn't close my eyes just yet um i'm gonna actually pop a little bit of this this gold color right here in my inner corners yes if i had like glitter glue or something I don't because I honestly don't have makeup like that anymore. I got rid of like a lot of my makeup. Um, that just like took the look to the next level. I could definitely probably use like some um, liner or something, but like liquid liner. But I'm not going to just because I do have these lashes on. If you're curious, these lashes are. Uh, these are actually from Flutter Habit. Uh, they look like this. They are... They are um, kind of like strip lashes, but they are actually four individual pieces. And instead of gluing them on top of your eyes, you actually glue them underneath. And you can actually wear them for like a week at a time. Um, and I love that. It's like having eyelash extensions all the time and it's like the best uh, And it's really affordable. I think you get two boxes which each come with three sets So you get six sets for like $29.99 um, This is in the style. I think this is the flirt. Yeah, the flirt, which is what I have on I only have three pieces on just because I do have smaller eyes. I need lipstick on. You have smaller eyes I only have three on so I'm just gonna wipe those. I love this lip color. Again, this is from Pixie, not sponsored. I do get PR from Pixie. So I do have quite a few from them, but I truly like their products. This is the Pixie Miriam, McCall I forget how to say her last name, um, in the color Posh Nude. It's such a pretty um, color. Uh, 
Um, so yeah, I think this is the final look. I love it. Um, so yeah, just talk a little bit more. Um, so yeah, we're looking at houses. I'm probably, I'm definitely filming that whole experience. But I'm going to try to go down to New Mexico, hopefully soon, either by myself or with Cameron. We'll see. Um, but I will let you guys know about the houses and everything and kind of bring it out bringing you through that um the house that I really want is just perfect I have just such a vision for it and it's just like the house that I could really see myself in and like I said we're gonna be here for four years so we definitely need at least four years so we definitely want a house that we are gonna be comfortable in and if we end up having another baby down the line um we will have plenty of space I don't know there's just a lot going on and like I try not to say too much just because Obviously, I want to respect Cameron. I want to respect our privacy, but there's certain things that just, you know, I just want to share with you guys because I feel like a lot of you guys can relate, especially if you're military. Um, my Instagram, I have a lot of military wives that follow me and we, you know, we support each other because, you know, it's tough being a military wife. If you're a military wife, you know, it's, it's, it's its own thing. There's no words for it, but, you know, we have our husbands, we support our husbands, and it brings food to the table. It brings money in our accounts, and it helps us survive, so just got to do it. Um, but I'm just, it's sad that he's not coming home when we thought he was. But, you know, anyone I ever tells you about deployment is they never come home when they're supposed to. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, there's more to come. I'm trying to keep up with my YouTube game. I'm trying to keep up with my YouTube game, so if you like it, let me know. Leave some love share, subscribe, comment, like, whatever. I don't know. And I'll see you guys in the next one.